All across the Lake Tahoe area, we spotted signs of better days ahead. Just gratitude. I feel like everyone here is so grateful. Truly. Cassidy Chehowitz and her father Doug expressing thanks to first responders who saved many homes from the Caldor fire. This place still exists, our community still exists because of all of the resources and time and dedication of all the hardworking people. The heavy smoke and flames gone. Visitors to the area now welcomed by clear blue skies and this long awaited spectacle. The first snowfall of the year. It was exciting. It really is. Hopefully we get more. Carol Spinelli of Myers telling us she'd open her window shades every day, hoping for a change in the weather. And this morning we opened them up and it was raining, so it was it was really nice. Well, a lot, 100 percent is going to help. It, it get, we need moisture. We don't have any at all. All over California is bad. You can see the snowfall on the mountains behind me driving along Highway 50. It's a sight so sweet. It looks like someone sprinkled sugar on the Sierra. It feels very good. I'm glad Resident to Dan Gachet eager to welcome people back to the Myers gas station where he works. As far as tourism is concerned, you can really see it on the weekends improving. People are coming back and we're glad to have them, that's for sure. Hopeful for more fresh powder and friendly foot traffic. It's beautiful. <laughs> no complaints. I don't care how cold it gets. It's beautiful. It really is. And residents tell me that they are hoping for more snow like this to help with the water levels at Lake Tahoe, which they tell me is the lowest that they've ever seen it in decades. Reporting from Echo Summit, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News.